hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today so in today's video we are going to be learning how to draft and sew this structured detail that is attached to this corset dress okay the one at the top of the screen is it at the left the one that has a detailed beading on it is my inspiration then the other one that is on the black dress form is my work okay so i'm going to be taking you guys through the process of how this very particular design was re was made the process i went through in recreating it okay i just used a muslin cloth to kind of attempt it first before i can actually transfer it to my main fabric that i'll be using to make the dress okay so it came out nice i'll explain to you guys and i also tell you where i felt i made mistakes so you guys do not do do not make same mistakes while you're doing yours. So if you're yet to subscribe, please do want to subscribe, like this video, and share to other platforms where it will be needed. Let's head straight to the pattern drafting. So you'll be needing your basic bodies front, okay? And this is mine, which I got from the half scale, from the half of it, okay? I got it from the half of it. I had to trace it out in full to get this. So this is my bust point line, my under bust line and my waist line, of course, my waist that and my side bust that, the basic things you will be needing for your basic body. So okay. So I haven't done that. I rather had to fold this into two so I can get that Kenu neckline. Okay. And you want to go in by two inches or three inches. I'll advise you remove three inches from your basic shoulder. Okay. Then downwards i'm just going to be removing just half an inch from the basic neckline okay so i'm just going to be removing half an inch from the basic neckline and i'll be joining these two together with a curve to form a kenu neckline having done that i'll be using my scissors to cut this out right now i'll be using my scissors to cut this out i actually felt i was filming here but i wasn't thank god i realized before it was too late so i'm going to be opening this up and this is what the kenu neckline looks like okay so i haven't done this we'll head straight to the next step in this work and i'm gonna head also to fold it into two we're going ahead now to impute our bust circumference so many of you have asked me um to give a detailed tutorial of bust circumference and i've dropped a link of videos in those comments so if you also want i will drop a link for you so having done that, we'll go ahead to contour our under bust. I've imputed my bust circumference. The next thing we are doing now is to contour the under bust to get that fitted, you know, under bust design at the bustier for the corset, okay? Also, same thing you do for your bustier. So this is what I'm actually doing now. I'm marking one inch on both sides from my bust apart measurement. I'm marking one inch from both sides. At the under bust and i'm going to be connecting it like so from the bust point down to my waistline like so on both sides okay if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please do want to subscribe watch this video to the very end because i'll be giving detailed explanations for everything that i did to achieve this design okay so i'm connecting it like so you want to also do the same thing so you get same results like i did and I haven't done that now. This is what it looks like. Okay. We'll go ahead to start throwing in our line, our style lines, the lines that we'll be needing. So I want to, this is kind of rounded. Okay. This is rounded. And I want my corset to have a different shape than making it round. Look at the picture on the top of the screen. It looks as if the corset came in to form a sweetheart neckline. So I'm going ahead to do the same thing now. Okay. I'm going ahead to do the same thing now. So I'm trying to get that sweetheart, you know, design at the posterior area. Okay, that's what I'm... I first started using dotted lines. Then I'll go ahead to... When I feel like what I have is okay, I'll go ahead to use good lines to make it visible enough for you guys to see. So at this point, I was trying to attempt it and I think I liked what I had. So I had to draw it out fully for you guys to see. So this is what it looks like. The next thing now is to start drawing in this design. Okay, we are going to be drawing this design on this pattern. That's the next step. Also, I started using dotted lines because it was kind of, it's something that you need to be artistic about. So you have 
same results or something better or even similar okay so i'm going ahead to use dotted lines and when i like what i think i'm doing i'll make it visible enough for you guys to see so that is what i'm doing now we are going to be attaching a fresh pattern paper at that very side for that outward pointed design okay so i went ahead to attach a fresh pattern paper and with my ruler i'm going to be drawing this like so to this point you want to do the same exact thing that i am doing okay so i wanted it to fall at the cap sleeve area so i used three inches from the tip of my shoulder but then i'm going to be joining that three inches mark to this very design that i drew on the corset area like so I'm kind of extending the lines. I'm bound to shorten it when I'm done or when I'm creating the design proper, okay? So I just have to extend the line. So I haven't done that now. This is what it looks like. And I want to tell you that this very line with you is for the design that is inwards, for the structured design that is inward. So I'm going to have to draw the outward one of it, okay? I'm making the line visible so you guys can see. This is for the very design that is inwards. If you look at the design properly, you find out that it's like a good mark, okay? Then you want to impute the second one of it, okay? So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm drawing the second one, which is actually the main structured design, okay? The other one looks like it was just something that was fixed into it. So, which is actually the main design that is the second one, and that's what I'm trying to draw in now. I'm trying to find the appropriate way to explain this so it will be as easy as possible. And I hope that is what I am doing in this video. I'm now tracing out the second one, the second design, which is actually the main design, okay? I have to put the pictures there so you guys will kind of flow with what I'm doing. So I'm going ahead to trace it out like so. You want to be very patient while doing this because if you draw something that is not nice, that is exactly what you're going to sew. So you want to be patient while drawing in the design. That is actually where the work lies. You want to be sure you draw the designs very well, okay? So I think I'm going to be using this mark. This is optional. You can decide to make yours longer or shorter. But if you make it too long, I think it will look awkward. I actually use three inches. So I think that should be enough for you. Okay. I'm going to be connecting this like so. And also the other one, I'm going to be connecting it like so. So I haven't done that. I've drawn every line to be visible so you guys can see it. Now this is what it looks like, okay? That's the main one. And the other one that looks like it's kind of fixed inside, inwards. So that's what it looks like. So, okay? So I'm going to have to trace out these two, these two structured details. I'll be tracing them out and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I've traced them out and this is what they look like. One, two. So the way it is now, when you're sewing, that is how you're going to sew it, okay? That's the need for pattern drafting. You have to mark notches. Just write whatever you're going to write to help you understand. Because the way it is now is the way you're going to be sewing it when you've got on fabric, okay? It's going to help you to understand better when you're sewing. So you can write whatever it is you want to write to help you. Now for the yoke area, I'm going ahead to be kind of form the yoke area but before that i wanted to make sure that everything is in line after i've detached the additional pattern paper that i used so for the yoke now which is just like a normal corset yoke this is what i'm going to be doing right now
So this yoke actually came down like a tube dress, okay? It's not like the normal yoke. It went deeper like a tube dress. That is because of the corset design. It went deeper like a tube dress, okay? So this is what it looks like. And I'll go ahead... So I'm going to be redrawing that. I felt like it wasn't really showing properly. So I'm using our scissors now to cut that out, please. So this is our yoke, okay? that's what it looks like hmm? when we face our structured detail this is what we're going to be having we are not done yet please i i'm just doing this to show you guys so i so you guys can be carried along and not get confused of all that we are doing okay i'm actually doing this to make sure i'm in line because there are lots of pieces in this dress okay a lot of things are going on so at every point, I'm making sure that whatever I'm doing is in line, okay? So this is what it looks like, as you can see. When I had to remove the yoke, and this is what it looks like, okay? So I haven't done that now. I'll be taking everything out, including the yoke, so I can work on this properly. Okay. So to work on this first, I'll start by opening up my darts. We'll start from the side boss darts. So you want to be very careful at this very part. This is where the structure detail is. You want to be very careful. Now, remember I said that that very line, the one that went in through the underbust, all the way to this point at the other side, is where you're going to be sewing. So you want to be very careful and watch closely what I'm doing here, please. Be very careful and watch closely what I am doing here so you understand this proper. And you're not going to have difficulties while making yours. Just follow exactly what I am doing. I've used the tape to close my side boss that. So I'm going I'm going ahead now to open up the waist and the underbust contour that so I can also close them up. And remember this is a corset that has a structured detail and we've marked the lines of our structured details. So there are a lot of things to put into consideration as you're doing this. I'm going ahead to tape this down at this very point. Now, if you want to use a boning, okay, you can decide to leave this and sew them up like your normal corset and use a boning. But for this tutorial, like I said, this was my very first trial, so I'm not going to be using a boning for it. I hope that's understandable, okay? Some of the lines broke, and I'm trying to mark them out to be clearer. Okay. We're also trying to be considerate of the fact that we are having a corset and a structured detail. So I'm trying to also get my corset and also make sure that when I'm sewing my structured details, it goes in line with the design I marked at the initial, at the initial, at the beginning of this very video. It's, that's what's going to help you. The line I marked at the beginning of my pattern drafting, that's what's going to help you in your stitching, okay? So I'm trying to write everything that is going to help me remember that this part and this part are together, you know? 
So that very top part is not really a point of consideration because it's going to be hanging. So the part where you're sewing is the down part that went into the underbust. So you have to be very considerate of that very design. So for the corset now, I decided to give it a kind of a rounded shape for the sewing. I don't know if you understand. Some persons use straight. Some persons use kind of vertical straight line for their corset. But I'm following exactly the design that we are trying to recreate. So I gave it that kind of curved bend, that curved shape. You're going to see what it looks like. And that's how I'm going to be cutting it out. So for that very line that went in like so, that is where we are sewing in our structural detail. You want to be very careful and put that into consideration. Okay. I'm going to be detaching the corset of these very parts. The part that the corset is showing. So I went over to the other side. And I started opening the side bust that, which I'm also going to be closing, okay? Closing it like so. So I've removed this very dart also. And we're also going to be working on this side. Still consider the line where we are going to be sewing in our structured design. Can you see the line? Put that into consideration, please. So now I'm going to be removing this very part, the corset of this very part, okay? You have to be very careful because at some point I got confused. Like I was like, where are the pieces? Where is this? Where is that? I didn't know which one to match to it. So please, you have to be very careful and mark every notch. Whatever you're going to write that will help you remember, please mark it. So this is what it looks like. And I'm trying to find a way to cut this out so we can have that line where we are going to be sewing in the structured detail okay so just watch closely what i'm doing now i'll be using my cello tape to hold this down trying to find a place where i'll close so i can cut that very line where we are going to have our structural details from easy sewing if you watch where the structured detail is more prominent at this very part of the bust here it did not start from the under bust just watch closely it didn't start from the under bust so that is what i'm trying to get right now so my line broke. The actual line I marked from the beginning broke. So I'm going to be retracing it. But making sure that some parts are still where they are. Okay. Some kind of crucial parts, I did not alter them. I hope you understand. Some crucial parts, I didn't alter them. They are exactly where they are. If you watch closely, you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Some crucial parts, I didn't alter them. They are exactly where they are. So I haven't done that. This is what it looks like. I'll go ahead to cut this part out okay this part i'm cutting now when we are sewing our structured details that is where we are going to be sewing it first before attaching the rest of the corset that is going to be closed by the structured detail okay so now i'm trying to figure a way to close this up because of course we are not going to be sewing it is a corset okay we are just going to be having just two pieces of it i don't want to do much so i'm finding a way to close this up right now and of course, I have to figure a way to close it up, which you can do whatever that suits you, so long as it's going to come out nice as a corset, okay? Then I went ahead to work on the other side.
and i'll show you guys what all the pieces looks like hmm? when i'm done i'll show you guys what all the pieces looks like so this is what this very two parts looks like just like the normal corset okay the normal way a corset is because that side is shown it's prom is it's shown it's obvious the corset of that area is obvious so just like the normal way a corset is it isn't actually a problem I'm trying to see which is the best possible line to use. Okay. Like I said, I didn't alter the, the unique lines of this design. I didn't alter the unique lines of this design. Okay. So I kind of did this like a recap for those of you that didn't understand initially. After I removed that, I'm going to figure a way to close this up or to cut it in a way that we are not going to be having that kind of pointed part so everything comes out nice and remember this is the part that the structure detail covered so it's up to you you can do whatever you want and i went ahead to finish up this other part where the corset is obvious okay i went ahead to finish up the other part where the corset is obvious So these are what the pieces looks like, okay? Remember this very line? We are going to be removing it. We'll detach it because we are going to be sewing our structural details on that place before attaching the other outward part. So this, these are what the pieces looks like, okay? It actually looks funny now, but when you kind of start sewing, it's going to make more sense. That was why I'm writing everything necessary so I understand this properly while sewing, okay? I'm writing everything necessary so I understand this properly while sewing. So this is what they look like. I'm trying to show you. These are all the pieces. And this is what they look like. Okay? These are all the pieces. And this is what they look like. I'm putting them where they're supposed to be so I understand. So we'll start working on the structured details. Now remember that some that went into the structured detail. We'll have to close them up, okay? This very one, no dart went in there, so it's fine like that. So these other parts where the darts went into, we have to close it. So while we are sewing on the top itself, it's going to align with everywhere because we've closed that on the main on the main design. That's on the main bodies, we've closed the darts. So we need to also close the darts on the structural detail. So while we are sewing it on that very line, Everything is intact, is in line, like it aligns, okay? So I'm closing the dots now, and I'm going ahead to use my tape to hold them down, like so. So for this very particular part, as you can see, it's pointed. If we close it, we are going to be having a pointed um, look. So I have to join that line there. So we can close all these darts and open it at the upward area. I hope that makes sense. We're going to be closing it and opening it at the upward area, which is far better to open at that area. I think it's far better to open it up at that very part. You want to make sure that every piece that is necessary, that you don't lose it. Like every pattern that is necessary should not be lost. Okay? Because it has a role that it will play in your pattern. So if you lose it, you will struggle while fixing the design. You will struggle while sewing. You will struggle. You even get tired and want to discard the whole thing. So I'm adding a fresh pattern paper to through this design. Okay? I added a fresh pattern paper to through it. Like level up the parts 
that are not leveled as a result of closing of that the lines broke okay we are going to be throwing it to level up the lines So I haven't done that, so I'm going to be cutting now so we can get our actual pattern. Now that very part that is open is a dart. I think, I don't know what it's going to look like if you do not close it up as a dart. Because I didn't, I didn't make that attempt. But I think it's going to be making that part to look like, it's going to exaggerate that part. Yeah, that's the right, it's going to exaggerate that part. And I think it wouldn't look bad. It's not going to look bad because most times it's going to create actually another design. But since I want to do strictly what we are working with okay on the thumbnail that's why i'm going to be closing that area up as a dart okay that very part is going to be a dart i'm closing it up as a dart so i went ahead to cut every of the pieces on white cheap paper sorry white cheap fabric and a leftover satin fabric these are the structured details okay and these are all the patterns put together like a lot is going on here and oh my god this is not rocket science but it's sure rocket science a, lo a lot is going on here so i'm trying to explain to you guys we are going to sew that corset first okay then we start attaching the structural details to it and then attach it to the main bodies okay 